This video is going to give you a quick walkthrough of a quick setup of a basic bot in Zappy Chat. So this is going to walk through an agency level setup and just a basic bot setup. And then you can review the other videos for additional customizations that you might want to make from there. Or if you're using the location API key, you can check out that location API key video. So once I log in to app.zappychat.com using the same credentials from my membership area, I'm going to head over to integrations and get my high level integration and my open AI integration set up. So clicking open AI integration, you're going to get a open AI API key. You can get that from platform.com, openai.com slash API keys, copy it over from there and paste it into this field. That's going to connect the AI, the open AI to your FAQ widget and for web scraping, etc. cetera. Uh, next, we're going to connect our high level. So like I said, I'm going to do the agency account uh, and or the agency integration. And so putting in my domain and I'm going to grab my agency API key by heading to my agency view settings, API keys and copying the agency API key. Once more, if you are doing this for a account that doesn't have an agency API key, you can use the location API key and that'll all be fine there. But with an agency integration, we can get a full um, a full import of all existing locations so that we can easily set up bots there. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and just create our first bot since we are in here. And we're going to make it a booking bot. And so I'm going to use a booking bot here. I'm just going to call it booking bot. Uh, description is just internal. I'm going to leave these settings as standard using the custom fields. Once more, I'm going to paste in my open API key, uh, select the model that I'm going to use. Let's go with four. I'm going to leave the temperature at 0.3, put my conversation limit at 50, waiting delay. I'm going to put it 15 and I'm going to have it booked to a high level calendar. Use the contact time zone, abbreviated time zone format and 12 hour time zone format. I'm not going to add any goals right now uh, because like I said, we're just getting a basic bot set up here, but you can add goals to update fields and add tags, etc. Check out the other videos on that. Um, now that we have a booking bot, I'm actually going to go ahead and clone this and make a non booking bot as well. Uh, just so we have both available for our supercharged snapshot. And all I'm going to do is just toggle this over to non booking. Everything else can stay the same and update from there. So now we've got a booking bot webhook and a non booking bot webhook. For right now, that's all we need to do from the app here. And so now I want to go ahead and get our sub account set up and then also get the robot icon and testing widget, uh, an FAQ widget over in the sub account as well. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do next is head over to the snapshot link, which that'll be below this video here. Uh, when we go to the snapshot link, it's going to ask us to import in the snap most recent snapshot. And so that's just going to bring it into our account. Once we have that, we can go confirm that it's over here in account snapshots. Once high level has it imported. So over here in account snapshots, we see that this was imported today. Zappy chat supercharged speed to lead snapshot. Uh, and I'm just going to put a date on it here because I think I've done this demo uh, other dates. Uh, and so just knowing which one is my most recent one. So 1-30. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new sub account uh, and load it in there. So create a sub account and I'm going to use my imported snapshots and use my 130 Zappy Chat snapshot. We're just going to call this demo demo. Oops, too many ads there, demo at demo.com. And from here, I'm just going to throw in commas, call it the United States. And so this is just going to allow us to bring in the, to bring in the snapshot and get everything set up from there. So CST, save one more number in my phone number and this will load the snapshot in. Once we have this loaded, all we're going to need to do is set up the, is set up the custom values in order to get this to work for a basic booking bot. So I'm going to head over to settings in my sub account 
and go to custom values. In the supercharged snapshot here, you can see that there is, in addition to the typical calendar ID and intro message, OpenAI prompt and robot webhook, we also have a non-booking robot webhook and a reactivation message if you want to use the database reactivation workflow. So reactivation message is totally optional, uh, but let's start from the top and go with the calendar ID. Calendar ID comes from the permanent booking link to the calendar. And so I'm going to grab that here by going to share, copying this link, heading back to custom values, dropping in the link and removing everything up to the last backslash. So, oops, missed it there. So getting that last backslash, everything before it, deleting that, and we've got our calendar ID. It'll look like this with capital letters and lowercase letters uh, as well. For intro message, uh, this is meant to reflect the outgoing message that we automate to our new leads or the call to action that they're responding to. And so I'm going to say, hi there, were you looking to book an appointment? You can just throw anything in there for now as a placeholder, just some sort of intro message that is the call to action or the outbound workflow message. Uh, the AI reviews that as the beginning of the conversation. Similarly, we're gonna put in just a starter prompt in here. And so I'm just gonna say, you are Ashley, an assistant for business name, ABC company. Your role is to book appointments. So for right now, just drop something basic in there like that, just to make sure you can get everything working. And then we can go back and update the prompt uh, for more specific use cases. But this is totally functional right here. Reactivation message, I'm gonna leave it blank for now. Or we can say, um, hi, contact, first name, I've got a few free passes, would you like me to save you one of those? So just putting in a reactivation message in case we want, run, want to run a database reactivation as well. And then lastly, we just need to drop in the robot webhooks from our bots. So I'm going to copy our non-booking bot, drop it in the non-booking bot. And then I'm going to do the same for the booking bot. Just copy that, head over, and drop it in here. And so just like that, in under, let's see, eight minutes while chatting you through this, uh, we went through creating an agency integration, as well as loading in a snapshot and getting uh, the AI set up. So now at this point, if I had a phone number on this sub account, I could message in to test, to test it. Or if I had a Facebook page connected, I can message in on the Facebook page and connect the conversation there. Uh, now, the last piece that we'll do just to polish off our agency integration is set up our robot widget for the uh, for the agency level so that we can have that there and run a web scrape so that we can scrape FAQs for our business. So what we're gonna do is head over to our agency view and jump into settings. In here, gonna click on company and this is for our agency and I'm gonna scroll down to the custom JavaScript section and I'm gonna paste in the JavaScript code from below this video or from the getting the app video. And so we've got our custom JavaScript code right here. But the one change we need to make is swapping out this reference key. And we just get that from the FAQs page over here. So our reference key is here at the top. I'm going to copy that, paste it in, click update company, and that'll bring our robot widget into the account. And now the last thing that I would like to do is go ahead and scrape a website to generate FAQs. And that completes our simple, quick setup of a new location. From there, it's a question of potentially customizing your workflows if you have specific use cases, uh, using a different type of bot if you want to use a qualification bot or an assistant bot, uh, or updating your prompt to accommodate the different situations that you might want to tackle. Uh, but for scraping a URL, I'm just going to open the widget and put in our zappychat.com AI landing page, click add, and that will generate FAQs to give our bot a knowledge base. So under 10 minutes, getting your agency entirely set up, setting up a sub account and setting the AI to go scrape a website to generate FAQs and you are good to go.